As always, we like to lead off our show by taking Sheed back to a moment in time. He's, he's, been, he's been very good at these. And for the most part, I would say they're positive. They're historic Sheed performances, both on and off the court. It could be a Sheed performance with a referee. It could be a Sheed performance in the box score. <laughs> it could be Sheed hoisting the Larry O'Brien trophy for all he knows. But I'll give you a little bit of a hint. This one is in a loss, Sheed. And the date is May 4th, 2003. May 4th, 03. Let's start with the team. See, the, see I, I, I want to say it might be who, Jersey? Jersey? No, you're still on the Trailblazers. May 4th? Oh, this is before I got traded. Mm-hmm. Last wow, year, could, wow, you got me right there. Okay, May 4th. So we're in the playoffs. Last season with the Trailblazers, I believe, before you get traded. You and your teammates are down 0 3 to the Dallas Mavericks. Oh. <laughs> now you see why I picked this one in particular. Let's run the tape. Y'all are down 0 3. And there he is, Rasheed Walls in Dallas. The series at this point is now 3 3. Very similar to what we just saw in Boston. Game 7 in Dallas with a chance to make history and be the first team to come back from an 0-3 deficit against a young, spry-looking Dirk Nowitzki. MVP Steve Nash in the house. There's a Michael Finley sighting out there. What I, we're, I picked this for a reason, and the viewers are going to find out why. But I want to hear from you what it was like coming into this game with a chance to be the first NBA team to come back from 0-3. Oh, man, we, we definitely loved our chances. We knew we was fighting uphill. We knew that, um, you know, at that time, uh, it was all NBA was all behind Dirk and, you know, wanted to make that whole European push. And so, of course, we knew that they were Dallas was the NBA favorite for this. Um, they had us down 3-0. Um, and it was just like, look, all we could do right now is hang our nuts on the table. <laughs> I mean, that's the worst we, That's the worst that could happen, you know what I'm saying, is, is us taking an L. So let's just go out here, do the right things, play the right way, and get a win. And then we did that because it was like, you know, pretty much a do or die. So game four, all right, boom, we come out, get that W. Hey, 3-1. All right. Now, you know, we back in Portland. Boom, so we all gung-ho again, like, look, we got to get this shit. It's, it's now or never. So we just taking it pretty much a game at a time, right? So, boom. So, before you know it, it's 3-3. Three, three. So, we like, shit. And then, you know, that's when that's when the whole uh, phrase that I had come out, you know, both teams play hard, God bless, and good night, and all of that shit uh, had came out, right? But this was a great game, though. I can't even front. It was, a, um, it was a good game. It was a great series because everybody counted us out from the beginning. Um, you know, our, even, even our own local media counted us out from the beginning, talking mm -hmm. about, oh, Dirk was too much and this and that. Like, nah, he wasn't really too much. Dirk was a good player. But for me, back then, mm, you know, he I, I didn't put him on that echelon with me, uh, KG, and Tim Duncan. Um, and don't get me wrong, Dirk is a good player. Um, yeah, he's in the Hall of Fame and all that shit. But that really doesn't matter to me. But it was it was a great game right here, man. Then, look, you got guys in there, Rafael Friends, Michael Finley, like you said. Um, you got Steve Nash. You know, it, it's... Who else is out there? Who is that number 11 right there? Eduardo Nahara. That is some Jason yeah. Terry sighting. Uh, there's, yeah, Raif LaFrance. Uh, there's, I don't know, is that, I don't think that was Sean Bradley. Shit, we, got a, we got a Zach Randolph sighting in there. This, you know what I'm saying? Damon, Damon Biggie Stoudemire in there. Bonzi. Yeah, this is a hell of a game right there. Is that Rude Patterson right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it, was, uh, it was a good game, man. Oh, all of your Trailblazers favorites from these years are on the floor trying to create history. And if I'm not mistaken, you guys might be the last team that was down 0-3 to come back and tie it at 3-8. I looked it up the other day, and I forgot if there was a team between you guys and what the Boston Celtics just did uh, in this series mm -hmm. against the Miami Heat. But this one was different because your Game 7 was on the road. Hey! 